a new phase of my Japan experience has begun today. Today is the first day of work and uh, I will be there at about 9.15 and then uh, I have to go with Aki-san this afternoon uh, to the house to measure some uh, things like where the refrigerator will go, where the washer and dryer will go, and possibly the parking space. It has been amazing just how much I've actually been able to get done, including finding a vehicle and possibly being able to purchase the vehicle in addition to finding the house. Um, the only outstanding things are moving into the house, of course, and getting what we've currently got into the house, which I've set that up for next week, and then uh, finding a washer, dryer, and a refrigerator. Um, once all those things are in place, uh, then the house is livable at least, and um, from there, I think it's just little by little, we continue adding to the things that we need. But yeah, on my way to work, gotta pick up my protein drink and my protein bar, because that's my breakfast. Okay, so we're, we're back at the house. Uh, there are no shelves, so the refrigerator uh, can fit, you know, as wide as we want it to, but if we put it to, like, go up to the depth to here, that was hard to do looking at my camera, because this is cold storage, um, the depth is 57 centimeters. Um, okay, so yeah, so upstairs, immediately from the stairs, you have the two kids' bedroom, and uh, inside this one here, it has the air conditioner, of course. Um, it's not a huge space, but it's functional, and, uh, and of course it has the built-in shelf, built-in, uh, and it's big, that's very big, probably, maybe can't tell really, but, you know, the drawers. And yeah, I wouldn't say this is a huge space, it's not very big, but, uh, it'll do. And then if this is the next kid's bedroom. I mean, it's almost the exact same size, really. It might be, yeah, no, I think it's probably the exact same size. And of course, aircon and the shelves again. Oh, and this one looks even deeper. Maybe it's even deeper. And these seem to work. Yeah, a little funkiness. I think it works though. The sink again, good sink. Huge sink, good man, and then the bathroom right off of the hallway here with the nice toilet. And oh yeah, and there's the washlet, and then a little storage thing for toiletries, literal toiletries. Yeah, then the master, which is a real good size, but with a queen bed, it'll it'll shrink. But I think you know, I would assume the queen bed would go against. I guess maybe this wall. I guess maybe that wall. Uh, and so you got a nice big light. That needs a light bulb, I think. Let's see. Oh! Ah, oh, Dicta! Yeah, you did it! Got some spideys. Spideys. Oh, they're good. That's a. I got them. <laughs> uh, okay, and then the big closet. You know, walk in. Oh, it's so hot in there. <laughs> and the light works. Oh, that's good. Oh my goodness, it is a boiler in here. But uh, good closet. Oh, they thought of everything. Of course, you got the entryway, which is very large. The shelvings. Um, yeah, but the bathroom, plenty big for a washer and dryer, if we have a washer dryer set. And then the shower room is very big as well, still. <laughs> Good. 
against that wall, and then probably the TV against this wall, I think, and then probably against this, you'd have some maybe kitchen storage, and then in this space, you'd have a table and chairs for eating and stuff. Um, the last thing I wanted to share is that this room does not have an air conditioner. So if we were going to use this as a bedroom, we probably need an air conditioner in there. And he dropped me off at uh, the station over here and he's gonna take, take the keys back to the property management company. And boy, am I glad that he dropped me off here because, oh my gosh, his driving makes me so sick. The house looks good and uh, maybe it has a few spiders in there and, uh, but everything else I think is, looks like it's ready to go. We might only need to work on the uh, tatami room going forward. We need to uh, get an air conditioner in there eventually, and then we need to pad the, the tatami mats. Uh, Aki-san said that a lot of times they use those uh, kids' mats, right? The ones that fit together like a puzzle um, in there and make it kind of like a kid's playroom. But uh, so we have some options with that. I'm at our local bakery. <laughs> Actually, it's at the station, so maybe it wouldn't be the local bakery, but I'm getting this lemon thing that's very, very good. I've had it once before. And then this is cream, oh, and this is cream filled. A cream filled thing. Just walking around in this bookstore, and I found a kid's section um, that I think could come in handy for us as a family. Hiragana for four and five year, four and five year olds perhaps to practice writing and learning these hiraganas, but it has tons and tons and tons of practice books. And here's katakana for four, four and five year olds and hiragana for six year olds and hiragana for two year olds. So I think I've got plenty of books that could be used to study. Also has a lot of picture books. So these could really speed up understanding because they're written in just hiragana and katakana. So could really begin to understand it. 